What's going on, YouTube? How you guys doing? So I'm just making some, uh, some... Uh, this is like my second meal today. Uh, about 2 o'clock, which kind of sucks, so I'm behind schedule. But, uh, just making some oatmeal, apples and cinnamon. I'm gonna add in some plain iso, uh, isolate, whey isolate. And, uh, I'm also gonna slap some of this in there. Iso splash. Uh, I threw this up in my last video. Uh, it's uh, food flavoring basically. Zero calorie, uh, zero protein, zero carb, uh, zero fat obviously. And it's food flavoring so you can get multiple flavors. I put a link up last time and I'll put the link up again if you guys do want to try it out. This is a banana foster so uh, it makes basically anything you put it into taste like bananas foster. So they recommend putting in oatmeal or uh, you can put it in with your shake if you put, because it is uh, flavorless, so put it in with milk, slap some of that in there, it makes it taste amazing. Uh, you can also put it in with pancakes, what else to say, eggs, rice, really anything you want. Um, so check that out. I have a link up if you guys want to go purchase this stuff, and I have it set up right now so that anybody who goes to buy stuff for their first time, it's going to be 30% off. So they think these are like $10 normally, which isn't too bad. 30% off, so it'll be like seven dollars. Um, they got a bunch of different flavors, so if you guys want to check them out, feel free to go do that. So I, was, I wanted to talk about uh, some tips for bulking that I've kind of learned over the years. This will probably be my third or fourth bulk, I think. And I've done clean and dirty and slow and fast, so I've learned some things over the years. So I just wanted to, you know, throw up some tips that I've learned, um, things that have helped me, you know, make sure I get enough food in. For me, it's that's always the hardest thing is making sure I eat enough because I, if I had it my way, I would eat like maybe maybe two or three times a day and that'd be about it. Um, but before we get into that, just want to see if anybody uh, anybody knows that costume that was in that first clip there. Uh, comment down below if you know. I know I've had a couple, had a couple mix-ups of, uh, not mix-ups, but people who were you know, asking me who I was dressed up as. So that was on Halloween. Uh, we got to dress up at my work. So I dressed up and I was uh, pleasantly surprised at how much I deadlifted there. That was a new PR for me, actually. Uh, so yeah, shout it out if you know who it is. We'll see if anybody knows who that costume is. All right, so what I wanted to talk about for tips for bulking is uh, there's a couple, eh, three or four tips that I have that I've found to be very helpful. Uh, the first one is going to be anytime you're counting cal obviously count calories to begin with. If you don't, you're going to have no idea, you know, where you're at. Uh, if you're in a surplus or you're in a deficit, if you're just maintaining. So obviously count calories, right? That's pretty basic. Um, on, uh, I wouldn't say it's, you know, pertinent to count uh, protein, carbs, and fats, but if you are trying to get a little more um, uh, specific results from your bulk, I would look into counting that. I'm counting those right now just because I'm trying the whole carb cycling thing, so everything is kind of on point for me. Um, but when you do count your calories, always underestimate your calories. And what I mean by that is if you don't know exactly how many calories are in a certain meal, or you know if you're making a making a dinner whatever you're combining multiple uh, foods always underestimate that way you know if, it, if if worse comes to worst you know and the you say the meal is 500 but it was actually 700 calories then you're you're still in the clear you know when you're adding up for your totally calories for the day you know when I go to make a meal I generally don't count the sauce or the dipping or whatever I use. So I'll, I'll make like uh, chicken strips. Make like chicken strips and uh, you know I don't count like the ranch just because at the end of the day I want to make sure I've come close to my goal and if I'm a couple hundred calories short I'm like well you know I didn't count the dip so I'm probably right on top of my goal. Um, like when I make pasta I don't count the tomato sauce that I put on it. Um, just to you know make sure that you get to the goal, right? So I don't want to, I don't want to be struggling to reach 3,500 calories or whatever the goal is for the day. So that's tip number one: underestimate your calories um, when counting things. 
Uh, number two, obviously, start eating as early as possible. You don't want to wait until, you know, like middle of the day or 10. Uh, you want to try and eat as soon as you can, obviously, just so you can get in as many calories as quickly as you can. Um, you don't want to wait, you know, to the end of the day. With my first couple bulks, I would, and I still do it to this day, you know, I'm, I'm kicking myself all the time. Uh, you know, today, it's 2 o'clock right now, and this is my second meal, so I'm way behind where I should be. So obviously, that's just going to force you to cram in more calories in a smaller amount of time. And especially if you're busy and have a busy work schedule and things like that, you're going to end up doing it later at night. And that's like the worst time to be cramming all those calories in because then you're just going and laying in bed all night. Your not, body's not uh, burning nearly as many calories um, you know, as you would during the day and when you're active and when you need those calories to recover. Um, so that's number two. Right, And number three is going to be don't drink a lot of your calories. So in my first and second, and I think even my third bulk, I would make a shake in the morning, 700 calories, and then a shake at night, another 700 calories. So I was like, oh, sweet. That's an easy way to get in, you know, 1,500 calories. That's half of what I need for the day. Um, but what I found when doing that is I always, and this just could be me personally, you know, genetically I could store fat more in my stomach, but I always found, you know, I would always feel like bloated in my stomach and like start getting, you know, thicker in the stomach. And that could just be me genetically, but it, I have a feeling that it's also because I was drinking those calories. Um, so similar to when people drink alcohol all the time, right? You get a beer belly because you're drinking those calories. Your body breaks it down quickly and it just stores it in the nearest area, which is your stomach. Um, so that would be my third tip. Try not to drink a lot of your calories. Actually eat your, eat as much, you know, real food as you can and not cram down a mass builder shake or, a, you know, whatever kind of, uh, shakes you make. I would, I would combine, you know, protein and then ground up oats and milk. And while it got a lot of calories into me very quickly, I don't think the uh, outcome was what I wanted. So those are my, I guess my three or four biggest tips um, from over the years. So we have underestimate calories when counting, when adding up your calories to the day. Number two, start eating as early as possible. That way you can, obviously that one makes sense. Get as many calories in, in a larger time span instead of cramming them all into a smaller time span. Um, Cause then it almost turns into like a, a fasting kind of thing. Um, and then last one, try not to drink all your calories. Make sure you're eating real foods. Um, well, it doesn't seem like a big difference, but your body will break them down differently just because of the form that they're in when they get consumed. <coughs> so those are the three biggest tips that I have for bulking. If anybody else has any awesome tips, feel free to comment, shout it out below. You know, I'd love to hear what everybody else has to say. Um, that's just what I, I've learned over the years. All right. I will right, we'll catch you guys later. All right, have a good one. See ya!